Hey guys, today we are going to discuss what are robot subsystems. So let us first start with the first three subsystems that a robot has. So a robot subsystem generally consists of three subsystems that is the motion subsystem and a recognition subsystem. So here we can see that we have three subsystems. First of all, we have the recognition subsystem. Just let me decrease the opacity. Then we have the control system that is this part. And then after the control system, we have the motion subsystem. So now we will be discussing each of the subsystems in detail. So that is, first of all, we will discuss the recognition subsystem. So a recognition subsystem uses various sensors to gather information about the robot itself and any object that it is being acted upon. For example, it consists of cameras. It consists of sensors which help us our help, help the robot to gather information about the robot itself or any object that it is being acted upon and about the environment as well. So based on the sensor data, it recognizes the robot state, the objects and the environment. So it is the most crucial or the most important recognition subsystem as uh, without this, we won't be able to know that what the objects are uh, our manipulator is acting upon and how does the environment look like. And then secondly, after, after the uh, recognition subsystem, we have the control system. Now in control system, we have the, uh, we have the uh, control systems that help us determine that what the action should be. That is, in other words, we can say that the control system influences the robot's motion to achieve a given task using the information provided by the recognition system. So let me explain it to you. First, we have the recognition system that is the R and after the recognition system gathers the information about the environment, about the object and about the orientation. Then after this information is given to the control system. Now what the control system does is that it influences the robot's motion to achieve a given task using the information provided by the recognition system. So we can say that it gathers or it interprets the information which is given by the recognition system and then it uh, accumulates a command and this command is then sent to the motion subsystem. That is we can say that it acts as the brain of the computer and this motion subsystem now we will discuss it. So now the motion subsystem is the physical structure of the robot that carries out the desired motion similar to human arms. So we can say that it is a physical structure of, uh, which can be compared to the human arm or the human arms carry out the physical process given by the brain. So here we can say that the, uh, these are the eyes, the recognition system are our eyes, the control system is the brain and the motions of systems are our arms or legs which carry out the physical motion. Keep in mind the control system does not carry out any physical motion. It only gathers information that what physical motion has to be carried out and that information is then passed on to the motion subsystem which carries out the physical process which was given by the control system. And similarly the recognition system gathers the information about the environment, about the object and about the orientation of the object and then gives this information to the control system. And then control system passes on the control command to the uh, motion subsystem. So these are the three systems which are used in the in a robot in order to, for it to function properly. So I'll explain it here with the help of a diagram. Here we have the recognition subsystem. And then we have the control system and in the recognition subsystem we have the camera and there are multiple sensors also connected. And then we have the control system. In this we have a computer which computes or which interprets the command which are given by the recognition subsystem. Now this information about the commands that what action has to be taken is given to the motion subsystem. Then this motion subsystem, what does it do? It forms the physical thing or the physical activity or the desired physical uh, <coughs> physical uh, uh, movement that we want the manipulator to do on the object. So these are the three motion subsystems that we have discussed in detail and this diagram is very important. Keep in mind to draw this diagram whenever you are explaining the three motion subsystems. And first of all, always explain the recognition subsystem, then explain the control subsystem, then after the control subsystem, explain the motion subsystem. 
so these are the three important subsystems if you are able to understand these three just write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to understand these properly and this is it for this video see you in the next one